If it's becoming too powerful and I don't think it can be contained to the few maps that it's on at the moment. As omnipresent as it is, it, it could have just willed itself into existence for all I know. I say he's the main character in the game. The big Eatus is a living, maybe not breathing, but certainly living. There are mysteries to the existence. I'm sure at some point I saw two. I think I'd ask him for some tips on how to be this renowned yet obsoletely invisible to the world. I'm still scared that I might wake up in the middle of the night and Big Eatus will be in my room and I will just fly off into another planet. Is that official confirmation that Big Eatus is too powerful for reality? That's all I'll say, you can't get anything more out of me. Okay, so we're here to talk about Big Yeetus, who I think is, you know, probably the, the standout new media celebrity situation that we've seen in 2020. I would love to know the seed of where Big Yeetus came from, what the conversation was that helped birth the phenomenon. I think the, the very first sort of inception of this was about a year ago. I remember playing an earlier build of the game and it was it was a tail tag and there were hammers in it and, and one of the great tactics at that point was to just jump into the hammer and fly across the map and it felt so good for something that wasn't really meant to be a mechanic and so ever since then I keep I kind of keep pitching levels that involve smacking yourself and, 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 and flying across but as a core level mechanic it doesn't really work that well because it requires so much luck so it didn't really come to fruition until we were doing this remix pass on all of the levels and kind of going through and and seeing what we can add and what we can take away and what we can change and to, to kind of do these surprising moments and the first version of it was just on full mountain because i really loved the idea of like you're a little bit behind and you don't quite think you're going to make it if you run up but maybe there's a one in a million chance that i hit the hammer and somehow fly into the crown and grab it and then, so I put that in, it felt pretty good. And then it was literally just one of those ideas you have at like two in the morning where it's like, what if we put this in more levels? And then it was like, but, and what if it had its own character? And what if it had its own skin and that kind of thing? And I think a, a lot of games, you might raise that and it's like, ah, nice idea, but no. And I think it's, it's a credit to like the team and just how like ridiculous this game is that everybody just kind of ran with it. I, I kind of, said that it was leaked without me knowing and that is absolutely true like I had no idea it was going out at all and I just looked I was just on Twitter in the middle of the day and just saw that Ollie had put it out there so when you said uh, Ollie that it, it was a spicy leak it actually was a spicy leak in there that case no... it fully was a spicy leak <laughs> basically like JJ had been calling it Big Eaters within the team mm -hmm. and I saw him doing that and I thought wow that is awesome that should be the official name of this hammer it's just it's perfect so it was announced before any discussion of it being a reality kind of existed i think so it, ex it did exist in, like you tested it in the game right or i i mean yeah i had used it uh, it was it was hadn't been really hadn't honestly hadn't really been run past tech like i don't think rory knew much about it at this point no i i definitely didn't actually the first i saw about it really was on twitter and i had to go back and trawl through the slack discussion to find out exactly where it was and it was only a matter of like l like less than half an hour i think between it being sort of discussed as a spicy leak and actually making it out there so it was, it was a really rapid iteration so if the social media reaction hadn't been quite as vociferous as it was, is there an alternate universe where Big Eaters didn't make it into the game? I was pestering art, uh, the art department for a skin for like a week and a half before that. I was like, can we get a special skin for this hammer? And they're like, yeah, if we have time, if we have time, if we have time. And that is definitely the kind of thing I think that otherwise probably you wouldn't find time for that. You know, they were just humoring me like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and then it's, it's, it's been going for it. It was like, well, now we have to, don't we? So, um, so yeah, that worked quite well. So social media essentially changed the priority list internally for, yeah, for that stuff. I guess that's kind of like a scary power that, that Ollie has really, <laughs> is like, you can kind of change what um, what our work looks like, which I guess, I, I you know, I think you've only really used it for good so far. I think you know of is the um, well. no, <laughs> but talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> is there a future where you kind of <laughs> you're trying to steer features that you like by by spicy leaking 
It definitely is. So what I've been pushing at the moment is to get my pet rat into the game. I've been pushing that quite aggressively. The community likes him as well. So hopefully one day he'll appear in the game. I'd already put Yeetus everywhere, like everywhere it was going to be, at least for the first update. And then I went on holiday, actually. So I completely missed, I completely missed it dropping. I completely missed everything. I completely missed the skin going in. So I was kind of terrified. Yeah, you're right. It had been designed, it had been going in. It was known for, it just hadn't become a, a, a such a big entity and thing. So like, I think it's fair to say that Big Eaters was going in regardless, but it became a bigger, more integral thing to the mid-season because of the, the community reaction. Like I've worked in plenty of studios where things like that would have just been discussed for a month and it would have been too late, you know? So it's, mm. it's, it's really good that we're still at a point in development and of a size of a studio where we can rapidly iterate on stuff and work out what works and work out what doesn't work and, and you know, push out in that way. So is Big Eaters kind of emblematic of like how you want to work internally from now? Did it kind of prove to you that that, that was a way to, to react to stuff? One thing I probably should clarify is as much as I like the idea that I just sort of took it and went completely rogue with it, <laughs> uh, I did check with a few key people that it was okay to post it. So it wasn't completely just, oh, that's hilarious. I'm just going to make that thing. <laughs> uh, there were a few people involved in that decision. Yeah, you'll cut that out. I don't like that bit of the stuff. <laughs> It fully was a spicy leak. <laughs> it's not like reckless kind of rushing through this stuff. It's just, I think it's a product, like as Rory said, of, of really good communication and really kind of a very joint understanding of what people like about this game. For me, it just embodies like the ridiculously stupid nature of this game. <laughs> Which I love that it, I love that it was sort of a myth for a while as well. Like there was this element of like, I won't lie, on the first day, I passed on writing about it because it was totally <laughs> unclear to me whether it was a joke you were making or if it was a real feature. So I was just like, well, we can't report on it if we look stupid two weeks down the line and we've written the words Big Eaters <laughs> on IGN. Yeah, that's something that's quite weird about the Twitter is it does feel like, like a, an unreliable narrator. Like half the things I tweet are just... Well, they are made up. It's just nonsense. So I totally get why people didn't believe it was a thing. But I think that made it better because everyone was like, well, actually, I really do want Big Ears to be a real thing. And so there was this sort of like, will they, won't they? And we did. How often does Big Eatus actually appear? You know, it's always kind of case by case, like how much does this benefit the level? Like, is this a kind of more of an Easter egg situation than something that can genuinely change how the game plays? Because yeah, like, and that's the kind of goes the same with all of our remix stuff. Like, I think there are some things that it's like 50-50 because the, the round can be quite different depending on whether that's in there. Whereas there's some stuff that I want to be like 0.5% and it's going to be so rare and you might. And, and the thing is with all this stuff, I'm like, no one will ever see this. And then within 20 minutes, because you know, there's so many people playing and, and someone finds it and they're like, yep, found it. And you're like, oh. So I think we're going to have to get craftier with our, uh, with our secrets in the future. One of the biggest problems we've had is like the bounds of some of our levels are not big enough for Big Eaters' power. And I didn't really realize how <laughs> how far it can actually hit because I played around with it for ages and I was jumping into it and kind of getting flown so far. I was like, okay, this is the range. And then like day one, you see people getting flown so far out of the level that they actually just fall down forever. And I guess that's one of the, the slight downsides of the quick turnaround is like, you know, you can't find all of that stuff. Is that official confirmation that Big Eaters is too powerful for reality? I think absolutely, yes. I think that could be the headline. Uh, run with that. That's, that's your story. <laughs> uh, in terms of like levels where it doesn't fit, I'm really, really trying now to kind of put it in places that you would think wouldn't work or you would think like, why would you want it there? Or, or how would it work there? So I think, yeah, at the moment, like it kind of makes sense. I think it's going to evolve into kind of more dastardly uh, situations which is fine. <laughs> so it's going to appear in, in levels it doesn't currently appear in as well? Like it's not? Well, I, I mean, as I said, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything about the nature of Big Eaters because mm -hmm. I can't, I, you know, obviously I can't predict where it's going to appear, but I would, I would suggest that, you know, within, within the game, it's becoming too powerful and I don't think it can be contained to the few maps that it's on at the moment. That's all I'll say. You can't get anything more out of me.